What does it feel like to be a U.S. climate scientist in the 21st century? It's falling off. Well, it feels a little scary at times. I'm on Senator James Inhofe's infamous list of 17. One of 17 scientists Senator Inhofe has threatened with referral to the Justice Department from criminal prosecution. Mike is also on that list. That's concerning. I'm the target of Freedom of Information Act requests from my emails and, quote, research data, unquote. That's concerning and frustrating. I receive threatening emails from total strangers who don't like the work I do or the findings my colleagues and I have published. That, too, is concerning. Sometimes the threats are more serious and have affected my family's sense of security and well-being. That's beyond concerning. It makes me feel angry and uneasy and always watchful. All of this bad stuff is the background noise of my life. I've learned to live with this noise. The bad stuff, as I see it, is the price of doing business, the price of publishing climate fingerprint research, of doing climate science. But then there's the good stuff. Coming into work every morning and learning something new about this strange and wonderful world in which we live. What an extraordinary privilege. Being part of a community connected by a deep passion for advancing our understanding of complex scientific issues. How cool is that? And once in a while in your career, having the sense that you and you alone hold a tiny piece of the enormous climate change puzzle that nobody else in the world has. And that feeling is priceless. <laughs>